Yes, folks, we've all seen the recent fake news story coming out from the left about the Covington boys, the Covington schoolboys, that was quickly debunked uh, when the real story came out. And I, I think um, Greg Gutfeld uh, summed it up the best, even though I don't particularly like his show. Have a look at this. So, what have we learned this week? The media sucks. <laughs> yeah, that's today's angle. I speak of the Covington story in which we realize once again that the media will use anything they can to destroy you. Yeah, and they do that for sure. Now, they tried to destroy these boys. Uh, these boys were portrayed as bad. Uh, these Covington boys were portrayed as bad, mainly because they're wearing MAGA hats. Um, and this guy here, the Indian guy, was portrayed as good. But we later find out that this guy here approached th these guys, not vice versa. And this guy got in his face, not vice versa. He just merely stood his ground. And then we find out that this guy is just a political hack, an, an activist, and who was a, a purportedly uh, an ex um, or a Vietnam vet. But we found out that that was not true e either. And then we later found out a bit more about this story where um, another group called the Black Israelites were spewing out hate towards these boys. And none of this was covered uh, by the left wing media. And left unchecked, they won't stop. If it wasn't for other honest eyewitnesses, the press wouldn't have rested until the teens were frog marched into the La Brea tar pits. They embraced a video from a sketchy source and pushed it out like cheap meth. Instantly, the teens became this week's media approved evil. And when the media was caught pushing a lie, they blamed everyone but themselves. But Thanks to NBC's Savannah Guthrie, we can see media bias in all its glory by comparing her questions of the Covington teen to the ones she asked Native American Nathan Phillips. Yes, have a look at this closely. It's quite amusing. Do you owe anybody an apology? Do you see your own fault in any way? First question, how are you doing? Do you think it was a good <laughs> idea to start chanting back? at the protesters. This has been a whirlwind few days for you. You find yourself on the front page of every newspaper. How are you doing and how are you feeling? <laughs> Did anyone say, build the wall? You have certainly been through a lot in these, these last few days. What some people see is a young kid with a smirk on his face. Do you think he should have apologized? Do you think if you weren't wearing that hat, this might not have happened. Have you feared for your safety since <laughs> all of this has happened? There's something aggressive about standing there, standing your ground. Yeah, there you go, folks. Uh, double standard, eh? Double think liberals. Uh, now, Savannah Guthrie was clearly obvious. She was trying to, even after her uh, the original story was debunked and um, NBC were one of the people that... Uh, portray the boys as bad and now she interviews the boy and, and the Indian guy and she clearly asks biased questions you know hard on the boy and easy on the Indian guy and so even after their story was debunked they still try to portray the boys as bad <laughs> 